All right, so it is butchering day today, and these are our five roosters that are going to be processed. Now, normally I would wait until they are six months old. Um, today they are actually five months and a few days, I think. Um, they are just like a heritage breed, so it was a meat, um, not they're not meat birds, but they were a meat um, frying pan special, right, from hatchery, so they were super cheap. Um, and they grew out in about six months, between five or six months or so. Now the reason we are butchering um, before six months this time around is because I am currently six months pregnant um, and it's starting to get a little bit uncomfortable so I wanted to do this before I get you know any bigger and any more uncomfortable and plus we are going on our baby moon um, baby moon next week so we wanted to make sure that they get processed and I don't have to worry about any of that when we are away. Now we have been raising chickens for meat for a few years now and it's always really labor intensive. Um, we are, you know, just home butchers. We don't do this professionally. So it does take me quite a bit of time to pluck the chicken and butcher out and everything. All right, so that is a lot of work. Um, this time around, Yardbird wanted to collaborate on a video or two with us. So thank you so much to them for sending us this beautiful chicken plucker. And we are actually testing out today to see the time difference between manually plucking a bird versus plucking with a chicken plucker on our side. So we went ahead and culled our five roosters. Now, if you've never butchered chickens before, this part is probably the least time consuming of the entire process. Each bird took me about two minutes, I wanna say, to actually cull them, which included catching the chicken, putting it in the killing cone, and slitting its throat. I've gotten a lot of questions about if I take the whole head off at once, and the only reason I don't do that is because as the chicken's nerves react, I like to have something to hold on to. If you take the whole head off and you don't hold on to the body at all, then the bird spazzes out quite a bit and blood goes everywhere, which is definitely not fun. All right, so we got the birds home and I connected the water hose to our chicken plucker, as you can see, it works pretty much out of the box, so time to get these birds in there and plucked. All right, so this is our setup. We have our scalder here connected to the propane tank. Um, it is, I think, about 150 degrees or so right now. Oops, we are upside down here. Um, so let's see if we can get a good reading on that. Yep, about 150 something here. Um, I find that between 145 and 150 is a good temperature. Um, we have our cooler full of our birds that we brought over from the other property where we were butchering them. Um, and then we have our chicken plucker here. Shiny new toy, never been played with before. It is connected to our water hose here. So in a minute, I will turn it on and turn on the water and we will set our birds in motion. <laughs> That one actually works pretty well here. I don't know if you can see it. It's really bright outside. Um, there are some feathers still on it. I could have probably left it a little bit longer. I just didn't want to break the skin. Um, but overall, that worked out really, really well, right? It I think it took, I'll leave it up on the screen here. I timed it, um, but I think it took a little over 15 seconds. So maybe the next one I'll scald a little bit more, but overall, pretty successful chicken flucker first try. All right, so this one took a little bit more time because its body kind of kept getting stuck um, in the machine. So the first one took a lot less time. Um, it's like its legs and its neck kind of, or its wings or something kind of got stuck on the outskirts. Um, so I kept having to like push it back in um, just so that it would keep spinning. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that normally occurs, um, but let's see what happens with the other ones. All right, so this one came in at just over 16 seconds, I gotta say, and not too bad. There are a few little feathers on it, but I mean, that I can deal with. Um, yeah, overall, this one, pretty good here. All right, so this is the last one that we will be doing um, in the chicken plucker. Um, it is our fourth bird and we have just scalded it. So here we go. All right, so 
our last bird, not too bad. And it came in at just over 26 seconds. All right, so again, we have some feathers. These larger feathers, um, they're pretty easy to come off, so I'm not too worried about that. This one, I did leave it on a little bit longer. You can see it kind of like took off part of the, um, the extremity here a little bit, but overall, I mean, it is plucked in not too long of a time. All right, so we just finished doing our four chickens out. Um, I will leave the average time here on the screen in front of me. Um, I have it like on the video camera, so I'm not gonna roll through the whole footage, but I'll leave it here and you can tell me um, if you think it's worth it. Now for me, I know that it's worth it because every one of these, with the exception of one, I think that the legs got stuck, has been like within the 30 second mark for one chicken and it generally takes me between 20 and 30 minutes um, or maybe, maybe a little bit less. We'll see. All right, so now for the second part of this video. All right, I have a chicken here. I'm trying to keep it over the sink, all right, so you guys can see, right, that's the sink, and those are the rest of our chickens that we just butchered out. I'm keeping them nice and cool in some ice water with some ice packs on top. Um, I'm going to manually pluck this chicken to see if we can compare the time from the average time from our four chickens outside to our one manually plucked chicken. Um, I have my stopwatch here ready to go all right and i'm gonna hit go all right so besides the time that it actually takes to pluck the chicken um, which is quite a bit of time for each bird um, i do also want to note that standing up at the kitchen sink takes a little bit of a toll on me now that i am six months pregnant um even before i was pregnant it does you know it's it's strenuous work um standing at the kitchen sink for half an hour at a time um, especially if you're doing a large batch of birds we generally do between um, five and 15 birds at one time um, so you know if it's two or three of us it gets a little crowded um, and plus it's just such a pain in the bum to actually have to stand at the kitchen counter for hours on end to pluck a whole bunch of chickens so um, while this you know the chicken plucker did make a little bit of a mess outside which I will show you guys um, the, the actual you know mess that it made outside this as you can see is a very messy process having to pluck chickens like this manually all right so I just finished butchering out this chicken all right and it doesn't look bad all right definitely not as clean as the chicken plucker you can see some like little feathers here and there all right but for the most part i mean pretty clean and it took me just under 13 minutes to pluck this chicken so definitely less time than i thought but a lot more time than it took the chicken plucker all right and my chicken isn't as clean as the chicken plucker feather wise all right so the chicken plucker did do a really good job of getting off like all of those tiny little hairs whereas me um not so much but you know it took it took a while i managed to get off most of them and then the rest of them will come off you know um in the process of gutting them and doing all the other stuff now what i will say is that the chicken plucker is rather messy outside right so it spews water everywhere um as you can see like there's water inside the entire chicken plucker going at all times so the ground around you gets really wet um, and full of feathers and all of that however all right in comparison with butchering by hands um, or plucking by hand, it is probably a lot cleaner in the grand scheme of things. Now, what I will say for the chicken plucker chicken, all right, it is very good and clean and all of that. Um, however, I will say that the legs kind of get a little bit more mangled, all right? They're kind of like, like hanging now. They're not like the way that they were because they kind of got dislocated um, by the chicken plucker. So if that's something that's important to you, then... Um, just something to keep in mind, like the same thing with the wings and the chicken is like a little bit less um, intact. But for me, that's not a problem. Usually I cut them into pieces anyway. Um, and honestly, I think it's worth it still um, because it cost me a lot less time and effort to just shove them in the chicken plucker. Um, but that's something to keep in note, um, to keep of note if you want to use a chicken plucker. Now, overall, the whole process was pretty easy. The setup was pretty easy. Um, I think it took us maybe like 20 minutes or so. Nothing too complicated. It comes mostly assembled and you just kind of like put the pieces together. Um, I will try to overlay a video of that here as well. And it definitely 
cut down on my time considerably. I remember that when I did this the first couple of times, my back would be aching. Um, and I've done it before the last time I was pregnant, um, when I had a miscarriage, I was doing a whole bunch of chickens and I remember standing up the kitchen counter and my back hurting um, and all of that. And so now just even doing this one manual chicken, my back is starting to hurt. But when I was out there, um, it took maybe like five minutes to do all of them and so it wasn't that bad um, at all. So if you're somebody who has a small flock of chickens or who butchers out chickens every couple of months like myself um, i don't have a big chicken operation we have you know our backyard chickens and our flock of chickens and that's you know perfect for us if you're somebody like that who likes raising backyard chickens for meat for eggs um, then i would definitely recommend getting a chicken plucker if you plan on doing this you know more than once or twice or whatever if this is something that you enjoy doing and you're raising food for your family um, a chicken plucker in my opinion would be well worth the investment all right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you own one? Do you like using it? Do you think we want to get one in the future? Um, I have a link down below to the one that I have, um, to the one that I use today. Again, thank you so much to Yardbird for sponsoring this video and sending us the equipment to play around with. Um, let us know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.